Hello students, <coughs> hope you all are fine. I am Dr. Tanmoy Vishash. So today we will discuss about a very important topic that is oxidation by tempo. Tempo is a very famous reagent. Its full form is 2266-tetramethylpiperidinone oil. It's a radical and better to say it's a stable radical. Generally radicals are very unstable species and you have to generate it during the reaction means in situ. But this is a stable. Okay, so we will discuss about this reagent and its use means for organic synthesis. So today's talk will cover a few points like the basic background concept, preparation of tempo, stability of tempo, reaction means uh, nature of tempo or stability in acid and base. What happens? Terminal oxidant uh, because while oxidizing means tempo is a catalytic as I drew written here. Catalytic is a catalytic. How, what are the other oxidant, finally the reaction mechanism in both acid and bases and finally few examples. So a lot of chemistry to be learned and I hope after this you will, uh, tempo will be completely clear to you. It's a crystal clear, uh, this lecture will make everything clear to you about this tempo. It's very important, so let's start. As you can see, this tempo is a, is better to say an oxide means oxide radical that's why it's name as pi and what is why is tetramethyl because this 4 methyl why pyridine because if you take this is this is pyridine if you hydrogenate then that is pyridine and after that one oxide because oxygen with a radical okay and why this is stable it is stable because of steady protection means uh, two type of protection or stability factor could be possible one is stability because of steric hindrance and stability because of electronic property this is straight primarily steric hindrance okay okay so as you can see that this molecule contains a nitrogen oxygen bond by the way you have already read about hydroxyl amine this thing so see here also nitrogen oxygen bond is there and we know that such type of reagents are reactive because the electronegativity difference both are electronegative atoms means nitrogen and oxygen both are electronegative atoms that's why this bond generally not that much stable like carbon oxygen fine so that is that this is this bond is also so actually during the reaction here means i agree but what happens it prefers to convert into corresponding in oh means this N here OH means we know that hydroxyl and we can we can use it's I know it's reactive but we can use and second point is this is extremely reactive because of this two but here see this steric protection gives some relief for this so actually overall its tendency to form this because this is relatively stable compared to this radical part coming from oxygen radical okay okay so as we told and it's it is a such a stable that you can prepare it you can store it in the reaction okay fine so how to prepare this thing in question preparation could be done by reaction this is actually its name is 2 to 6 6 tetramethyl pyridine fine because this is all this no amp saturation is there there is an H and what happened in presence of catalytic amount of sodium tungstate and EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid it is uh, oxidized by hydrogen peroxide we are better to say aqueous hydrogen peroxide why actually hydrogen peroxide is the oxidant because these also contain this so it breaks actually it is responsible for oxidation and ultimately it result in this radical formation that is stable okay so what is the stability this molecule is stable but in presence of acid and base it shows some property for example in presence of acid it convert it undergo disproportionation disproportionation reaction means an intermediate oxidation state is split divided into one is higher and one is lower i'll make a dedicated video about this disproportionation and proportionation reaction later on this so H plus what happened? One produces this N double bond O with a positive charge. Okay. If this is the oxidized version. So this is the oxidized form. And it is named as temp double bond O plus. 
okay and another is that is a reduction see as we told this a radical means that it's a seven electron species fine so it wants electron and what happens it takes electron but see this is a hydroxyl amine negative form what is the target so this is the reduction this is the reduced form okay and this is named as temp oh h plus so this is the overall reaction by the way so during the reaction which one is the active species or responsible species actually during the reaction this oxidized species is responsible because we know if somebody is acting as an oxidant it means it will oxidize someone and itself will reduce means oxidizing isn't is lack of electron or deficient electron please keep this thing in mind oxidizing isn't oxidant oxidants equivalent to lack of electron or one one to get electron from other molecules it's a basic concept please keep it in mind so what happens in this case this is a electron deficient species it's an electron rich species this is electron deficient species that's why this is so is it possible means during this thing you can see the two molecule is so we are taking tempo and we are getting ultimately one molecular active species means 50% of reagent is unused can we get it yes we can directly get it by single electron oxidation single electron oxidation we can prepare second thing if we give this if we try to oxidize this so this will also be converted into this fine so what happens another thing is that you take a tempo as a catalyst means you generate this thing and do the oxidation process what happened this will converted into this this is the i as i told that will con it will prefer to convert into a stable form that's why it is not so you can regenerate this to this by using an another oxidant okay and that is that mm, thing makes this tempo mediated reactions catalytic what do i mean so catalytic means you can take catalytic amount of tempo and along with that oxidant what are the oxidant oxidant could be means oxidant oxidant that in this reaction could be one is sodium hypochlorite this is one second is hypervalent iodine reagent okay why see here chlorine is in plus 1 oxidation state okay iodine is also plus 1 oxidation state so what is the role of this means chlorine want to go from plus 1 to minus 1 iodine also want to go minus 1 means during that process they what they are doing they are actually consuming two electron so these two electron is supplied by initially tempo and actually overall by the reaction that is alcohol to ketone or aldehyde whatever you think see it is also a two electron process so this two electron via tempo which is acting as a catalyst is consumed by this so this is the overall reaction this is the terminal and for this process bromide ion please keep it in mind bromide ion for this process bromide ion act as co catalyst so this act as a co catalyst for this process okay so this is and now let's discuss about the mechanism of this process okay let's continue the discussion i have already written the mechanism here in order to save the time so this is the overall so as as we have discussed the main active species for tempo mediated oxidation is the n double bond o this is a tetramethyl having plus charge of nitrogen so this is the actual oxidant so initially it will be converted into this by uh, so in the medium means it acid or base what we have discussed fine so this is actually the active catalyst so uh, what happens 
in case of let's discuss about acid acid means in the medium lots of h plus is ions are there so what happens that this is n double bond o means what do we believe that this n double bond o positive charge will prefer to remain on nitrogen atom because oxygen is relatively more electronegative so we, we can believe that this is more electronegative electron density is more on the oxygen side fine so what is the next thing that there is hydrogen and this bond means that could be another canonical form that means the positive charge is delocalized over both nitrogen and oxygen their electron deficient that's why they are oxidized so what could be the oxygen could have plus charge one canonical form possible so what do i mean that this is the uh, distribution of charge so what can happen both way you can explain that i explain so this and second this form alcohol forms hydrogen bonding okay so this next step what happens as this is forming means plus charge is on the oxygen atom but overall this distributed about this that's why I, i prefer to give the plus charge here so this is a next step what can happen that this proton could be abstracted by the nitrogen this can come here and hydride can go to there because oxygen is electron deficient and ultimately result in this so this is i this make make two mechanism i got from the book by dr chaudhary shah i have an another logic but i don't i will not say you please write my logic in the exam so this is the thing better to write this thing uh, what we can write we can write this way this is completely my idea be careful before you write in the exam i would rather suggest please not write so this is instead of that we can think hydrogen bonding can happen from this side also so this is oxygen this is carbon hydrogen okay why i believe that if the charge density on oxygen is higher then what can happen medium is acidic so nitrogen is bearing the positive charge so this can abstract the proton similarly it can come and this hydrogen can go there ultimately product is same in both case so see there is nh this will also create nh this oxygen will abstract this proton so oh okay. so ultimately fine but this has a difference that's why i have told you please write this thing. okay this is the acid mediated mechanism this is the base what is the base mediated mechanism see in base there is no h plus what can happen this alcohol may be converted into alkoxide so what do i mean so it may convert it into this by the presence of this so see if you compare this is more electron deficient so base will directly attack here and it will expected that it will open up okay but keep it in mind nitrogen having four bonds so it should be plus don't do the mistake that okay this is attacking here so ultimately that will be neutralized no nitrogen can't extend its valence actually it's a four valence so if it attached to an another atom it should be pentavalent that's not possible for nitrogen because no d orbital present so this o minus So next step, what can happen? This O minus can abstract this proton. It can come here, and this bond can come on nitrogen, and it can reduce the plus charge or neutralize the plus charge, creating this. So overall, in this way, we are getting the carbonyl compound. Okay. So this is the overall mechanism for this process. Now a question comes that if if over oxidation occurs, what will be the consequence? For example, you take alcohol. and you put tempo tempo double bond o plus what i told this region and you put two equivalent of in a ocl and br minus is as a catalyst means co catalyst fine so two equivalent so what is expected we know that for oxidation of one equivalent alcohol to and get two electron needed and one molecule of this abstracts two electron But if you put one equivalent excess, means another two electron. What is expected? First state there will be aldehyde. Fine. But in subsequent state, this aldehyde will be further oxidized by additional NaOCl. 
and what it will result? It will result carboxylic acid. So this is the interesting point. Please keep it in mind. In exam hall, what is given? One equivalent of oxidant or two equivalent of oxidant. Please be careful so that you don't make any mistake. So now let's discuss few examples. Okay, let's continue the discussion for example. We'll discuss for example. What is the purpose to give you example? The purpose to give you example for clear idea of what happens. See, conditions are same. Tempo, bromide, 0 to 515 degrees centigrade, NaCl, DCM, pH freeze means alkaline. So you have to understand this. What point you need to focus? What is the medium? And second, most importantly, I haven't mentioned this. What is the equivalence? What is the equivalence of the oxidant? Okay. Since oxidant is one equivalent and tempo is in catalytic amount. So what is the product? The product is conversion of this into aldehyde. Right? Similarly, if you look at that, it's an alanic alcohol. Everything, tempo as a catalyst, bromide, 0 to 15 degree, pH 7, neutral, no problem. This hypervalent iodine, oxidative equivalence 1. So, what it will stop? Aldehyde. So, the product is, this is fine. See, this is a cholesterol derivative. You can oxidize this using tempo also. How? Tempo catalyst, iodacyl benzene, one equivalent. So question value to stop, it will be converted into ketone. By the way, for such type of big molecules, I rather prefer MPV, means methyl pompa valde reduction compared to this, because there you can make the reaction directed towards the particular, and that is a selective reaction. So this, so I believe means it's a very, means, you have to kill a mosquito with a gun. That's not right. That's it is a very special reason. So I believe those reactions are going to be easier. Fine. See the example fourth is tempo sodium chloride, sodium hypochlorite. This is everything. But interesting point equivalence is two. So what is the consequence? The pH is slightly acidic. No problem. Almost neutral. We have to say this. So what is with the pro product? Ultimately, the product is actually. This, this carboxylic acid. Why I am warning this to be careful because, for example, this given and four MCQs given. One MCQ is this, second is aldehyde, means aldehyde oxidation of this, okay, and uh, one third option is. Uh, Better you can say that ultimately aldehyde, aldehyde with OH, this or another thing they can give the option number four aldehyde, sorry, carboxylic acid OH and number fifth option none of this. So in this way MCQ would be constructed and if you are really aware about the equivalence you will be able to do the right answer otherwise you will be confused and end up with mistake. Okay. So this is the discussion about the example. So this is the overall discussion about catalytic oxidation in tempo mainly alcohol oxidation. So what we have learned today we have learned about the nature of tempo. It is a stable radical. Second it can act as a catalyst for oxidizing alcohol into corresponding uh, carbonyl. Say, uh, next, the terminal oxidant could be hypochlorite, iod hypervalent iodine reagent, this thing. So that such that tempo can act as a catalyst. And most importantly, tempo can act as an oxidant in both acidic and basic medium. Their mechanism is uh, different. Although it's a postulated probable mechanism or better to say logical approach. And finally, uh, some example regarding the practical reactivity of this into a which converted different type of useful uh, reactant into some other products and this. So this is the end of this discussion. Thank you again. Thank you for your patience. So if you love my teaching, please help me to grow my channel. 
your because your motivation will inspire me to make video on a regular basis so but for that purpose first of all subscribe my channel chemistry and history of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited and i'll be highly satisfied because my effort is useful for many people and most importantly like the video make some good comment uh, that's the biggest motivation for me to make another video because i'm teaching everybody likes to listen that he is or she is teaching well and if you really think some improvement is necessary or you want to make some criticism comment don't feel don't hesitate whatever your opinion please mention in the comment box and i request you please give some suggestion how to improve so in for then only i'll be able to improve myself and as a consequence you will get better and better quality teaching which will be helpful for your future exam also so thank you again take care see you in my next video